<laughs> it's feeding time at Coastal Prairie Farm in Acadia Parish near Eunice. Like most cattlemen, Justin Fuselet is putting his cattle to pasture on ryegrass. However, these cattle are also rotated onto lands that look like this. This is what's known as the Cajun Prairie, grasslands with a diverse array of plant species. The best thing is, these plants are used to hooves trampling them. In fact, they live for it. If you look out into the landscape, it's, I mean, a lot of people would see what you may call weeds, you know, and, and part of this system, we're driving towards soil health. We need biology, biology to cycle the nutrients, but in order to have that biology, we need the diversity. These 30 acres were reseeded with native plants grown on just one acre of land. The reseeding project began with Justin's father, Vernon, who got the seeds from a professor growing them at home. This is one of the few prairies that's been planted strictly by seed. Most of the other prairies were planted by people taking, you know, transplanting plants into a transplant prairie. The native plants have a huge effect on the soil here. You can see the soil sample has several layers to it, indicating good moisture and biotic content. A lot of positive benefits, nutrient holding capacity, water infiltration rate, water holding capacity, all those things go up. Though in a regular pasture situation where you're adequately rotating, you know, you're, you're letting it rebound, you're not grazing it down too hard, but you may have, you know, limited plant species in there. You can plant some legumes, some other grass species to mix that diversity up. This is that system on steroids. The restoration of the Cajun prairie is not just about plants. Pollinators and other species greatly benefit from this area, according to NRCS Rangelands Management Specialist Chris Abel. There's a whole lot of biology going on underground in the soil of this system, and all these plants evolve together with the same forces, fire, large grazing animals, and just the overall climatic conditions that we find here in southern Louisiana, which is a lot wetter than most prairies that you see. So the seed is actually only produced right here. The reseeding does take a long time. This 30-acre patch took about four or five years, but there is a payoff. Justin Fuselet doesn't pay for hay. We learned again, when you build these systems, they're resilient, they're abundant, they, they, you know, they, everything comes full circle. The, the nutrients are cycled by nature, the healthy soil. We don't have to deliver it out of a bag. We don't have to plant or introduce different forage species, you know, to, to fill major gaps. Um, and and it's, it's been pretty successful. We, uh, we've completed our second winter in a row without feeding any hay, you know, just using stockpiled forage and uh, on our cow, on our core cow, Group. Now, as you heard, it takes a while to get a field looking like this with all of this biodiversity and these beautiful flowers you see here. But the reward is worth the wait, according to the fuselets, from nutrition for cattle to soil health for crops like rice, as well as habitat for pollinators like bees. This is Louisiana native plants and grasses working for Louisiana agriculture. Reporting from Eunice, I'm Neil Malasong. Fusilet Farms offers both lamb and beef, both fed on native grasses and grain fed. For more information on the operation or how you can help grow the Cajun prairie, head to our website at twilatv.org.